Yeah, handicaps are uh, what you make up. And I know blind people that uh, just back off into a corner and think that they're unable to do anything. And there's no convincing them that they can. And uh, they, they just think, I'm, I'm a wonder man, that I can do all this. But it's just uh, being brave enough to try it all and to say, okay, well, here I am, this is what I can do, and I'm gonna make the best of it. It was Halloween night in 1985, and I was pulling out of an intersection, and uh, there was a van coming at me, and uh, as I pulled out of the intersection, he ran right into my door uh, and uh, took a direct hit in the door, uh, which is not a good spot to uh, get hit. And nobody really uh, knows exactly why I lost my sight, or they uh, don't want to speculate. But anyway, uh, I was in a coma for eight days and uh, on and on, but uh, uh, made a full recovery physically from that, except for uh, except for my sight. That knocked me back for a while because uh, I stopped teaching school. When you're teaching school, auto shop, you you got to have eyes in the back of your head as well as the front of your head. And once once I lost my sight, then. That was uh, pretty well out of uh, possibility. I established this, this uh, business here, this uh, building, and I uh, fixed up this building, which was in terrible disarray, and I started my uh, shop. It's difficult to work with a blind guy. Uh, these these guys had to be willing to show me, you know, what's wrong in each situation, talk to me about each situation, and, and I'd end up making the decisions. But they had to be responsible to give me the proper feedback, and then when I told them what to do, you know, being able to do it obviously, and and do it. Uh, successfully. Well, let me see your hand here, Steve. When you're up here on this piece, turn your fingers the other way. You know, okay. Okay, you feel that seam yeah, right there? Yeah, I do. Out, outside of that seam, out in here, that's, that's dead space that I can't get to. That's blocked off. He does know how to do it, but he can't see to do it, so he has to try and explain it to me, and that sometimes can be difficult for for him and for me to communicate something that is physical that I'm touching with my hands and that I'm seeing and he's touching it with his hands but he's seeing it in his mind. Coming out of, Stu, let me see your hand there. Uh, 
That's the thermostat outlet right there. Yeah, okay. He can uh, get hands on with whatever he needs to, you know, as far as the cars are concerned. But the only thing that he can't necessarily feel is like if I'm polishing, a, you know, a piece of aluminum or stainless steel, and I've got like a tiny little scratch in it, you know, that I'm telling him about that I need to work on a little bit. Uh, sometimes he can't quite feel that because it's so minute, you know, you, you can you can hardly see it. So, but uh, no, other than that, you know, he. You know, he'll climb right in cars, you know, uh, get right in the engine bays, whatever he needs to do. Yeah. Well, the question is how. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe we could run that up the left side of the passenger compartment. That's a possibility. There actually is already a hole through the firewall. Uh, when I first came back from the uh, hospital, I thought, well, how am I going to get from the house to the shop? I'll string a rope out and follow the rope out. Well, that was uh, just because I didn't understand what's possible. Well, I think we're as close as we've ever been, if not closer, to tell you the truth. Some, our son tells us we're becoming one person. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're best friends. Stu still helps me in whatever he can do, and I fill in for him for whatever he can't do, so it seems to work. This is the XJ13. When we met, she didn't even know what a Jaguar was. I had no idea what a Jaguar was. I've never heard of a Jaguar before. I don't think I was ever competitive until I met Stu. I think you've made me competitive. Um, Truthfully, I, I don't think there was a competitive bone in my body before, but I don't know, he puts this drive into a person. Through, really? Through, through osmosis, I think. I, I think I, so. Uh, this is our 1972 Jaguar. It's a 12-cylinder, and we refer to it as the Beast. This car has been modified in more ways than you can imagine. Everything from the structure of the car to every last piece of running gear on the car. I use it for slalom. I haven't been out on the track in probably, I'm gonna say this is my fifth year, just because the car uh, is, is being worked on right now. And uh, this car, it actually comes last. The, uh, the slalom racing, that was all Stu getting me into that. He wanted me to participate in that. And, I remember one time we were going to a, a national uh, a meet, and uh, we're talking about, oh, you know, uh, Dick's going to be there, and Dean's going to be there, and Gary's going to be there. Isn't that going to be fun? And Karen's so social. She was, oh, boy, she was looking forward to seeing them all. And I says, Karen, do you know why they're going to be there? And Karen says, no, they're going to be there to beat you. And uh, everybody was in the low 40s, as well as Karen. And you have five attempts at this. And in Karen's fifth attempt, she got a 39 something. She was the only one to break 40. And uh, here's another, what's this one? Fastest female slalom competitor trophy. That was a pretty proud day. It was Karen. a pretty proud day. It was a pretty proud day for you too. Come on in a little, a little bit more, another foot or so anyway. Mm. That's going to be a challenge. Okay. When we do work here, we're not trying to get it just good enough to go out the door. We're trying to make it as good or better than it was coming out of the factory. Yeah, say which way to go, goes that way. Just, uh, go back there and just sort of steady it so it doesn't fall down. Okay. Can I slide under there and check that out? Uh, yeah, there's space under here for you to get it under.
Okay. Now you're right under a cross beam right there with your nose, so you yeah. want to go to your right a little bit. Right. Yeah, you got plenty of hole there. Okay. You're at, come under a little bit more because you're going to have to sort of sit up just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Just there's, no. there's another. Uh, yeah. At this point, we're doing these very special modified cars, and that is. Uh, it just, it tunes me up pretty good. I love it. Now I have no idea when I'm going to retire because doing the work that I do here, solving the puzzles that I have and the problems that I see, it's just plain fun to me. If you buy one of these cars, buy it because you love it and you want to use it and have it. I finally thought, you know, you can do pretty much anything you want if you will make the effort and you have to make some trade-offs. Uh, you never can tell what color a car is, is and uh, people have to help me with that. <laughs> There's been times that I'll be working on my own car on the weekend. I'll call him up, you know, because I'm stumped on something. He'll walk me through it on the phone. <laughs> he's, he's sort of incredible like that, but, you know, and on off these cars, the E-types, you can hand him any part on the car. He'll tell you what it is, where it goes, what it does. It, it's great working with him, it really is. He's, uh, he's uh, quite a special person. If you watch him, you can see him constructing the picture in his brain of what the part he's got in his hand looks like. It's just amazing. His, his memory is, is phenomenal. Stu was, uh, we were over there in the lift bay and he was showing me how to, uh, how to get some exhaust manifolds off of one of the cars. We were just gonna recondition them. And uh, he's, 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 so he's got the toolbox here and the car sort of here, you know, so he's going back and forth. And he's showing me how to do this and, uh, you know, I'm like, oh wow, you know, that was a really good tutorial. And then I had to stop and think for a second, wait, he's blind, he can't see what he just did, you know what I mean? It was like, it, it's just kind of incredible, you know. Pretty, uh, he's pretty badass like that. <laughs> Hello, Sue Jones Restoration.